What exactly is energy and what makes it so useful? How did humans harness power and transform the world to what we see today? The physics of energy has become vital to us all and we use it to create everything we see in the modern world. Energy is also crucial for life itself. Without the energy from the food we eat, we would die. But the same energy that gives us life will also bring death and decay. Why? One cannot have energy without disorder. As all things tend towards a state of disorder, out of a state of order. This is what's called entropy. It is an amazing process that we can literally see in our daily lives and in thousands of different ways. But how did we come to understand entropy? And who are the key figures behind its discovery? Over the next couple of weeks, we are going to journey through the discovery of entropy and energy. So today, let us start with one of the greatest people who made it his life mission to understand the universe and by extension, energy. Gottfried Leibniz, a philosopher, a scientist, and all-around genius. One of his first experiments to figure out the behavior of what we now call energy was by creating an energy exchange between two balls. You could even complete this very simple experiment at home by taking two balls, placing one at the center of the table, and rolling the second so it collides with the first. You will see that the ball that was rolled will transfer the movement onto the ball that was placed at the center of the table. Leibniz considered this to be a display of what he called the living force or vis viva of the rolling ball being exchanged onto the stationary ball. This is how he discovered vis viva, the idea that systems conserve a certain amount of energy or mv squared. For Leibniz, this is an equation of great value. It allowed him to see that there is a fixed amount of energy in the universe. Energy cannot be destroyed and it cannot be created. Nothing is destroyed and nothing is created, only transferred. This concept of nothing being destroyed and nothing being created led others to discover thermodynamics. Whenever we transform energy, a certain amount of it gets lost as heat waste. And the measure of this is what we now call entropy. This discovery of thermodynamics is due to Leibniz's fascination of his idea of the living force being released in violent ways through gunpowder, fire, and steam. This curiosity led him to begin correspondence with Denis Papin, and through their letters and experiments, they formed the idea behind the steam engine. A revolutionary invention that would propel the world further into its quest to harness energy. Although Gottfried Leibniz never saw a steam engine, he came up with the concept which would be known today as energy. This has been Tuesday Talks with Irene. Join me next week for the continuation of Entropy. Like, share, and subscribe, and never be afraid to pursue the why.